And then, so the Survivor Series that we do, um, this time is Maria Trinidad Herrera, and she is the moderator for our Spanish support group. So you will see that we have it here in English, and then we have it again in Spanish. And um, she had her first aortic dissection surgery in 2009. The fears and questions were um, became overwhelming, and the difficulty with the diagnosis and lack of knowledge of some medical professionals worked against her. Um, if found on time, what could have been addressed with a stent or an observation led to a complicated and dangerous um, open heart surgery that forever changed her life. The psychological traumas after the surgery became a daunting chore and led her to find a healing path in poetry. With the second edition of her first book, she shares how poetry continues to heal and fortify her spirit in the most vulnerable moments of her life as an aortic dissection survivor. And the message is that you are not alone. Um, and she is the moderator of our Spanish speaking um, uh, support group. So this is where you can sign up if you would like to join there. And there it is. The be I remember writing this for the first time like four years ago. Be the shining star in someone's life by submitting your story of survival um, or if you're caring for someone with aortic disease. This is one of the biggest things that we are known for are our survivor stories and, and helping people um, not feel alone by reading and listening to the um, survivor stories. And so if you decide to, to participate in this, it's very easy. There's no right or wrong. It's We just want you to tell your story. We want to know what, what your symptoms were, what was the process of your diagnosis. Um, and then that we would share that um, video or the blog with Think Aorta US, and we use it as a tool um, for um, the ER doctors and um, first responders. And it's really important to think about the aorta. So if you're interested in sharing your story and being that shining star, um, just fill out the, the form and Joshua um, or somebody will be getting in touch with you. Um, but there's an entire collection of these on um, our YouTube channel. And uh, the first time I ever found Aortic Hope, I was just looking for stories. And, that, and that's how I found Aortic Hope. Um, I, I wanted to know, um, did the same thing happen to other people? Um, did anybody else, was anybody else sent, sent home from the hospital telling them that it was kind of all in their head and um, you're fine? So uh, this is a way to... Um, to connect and tell your story and nobody gets paid for it. So we just, we just want to help others.